This is Maria Lorena Lehman with SensingArchitecture.com. Today I'm going to talk about interactive architecture and how you as an architect can use just-in-time interventions by using interactive architecture to engage your occupants in a way that is more predictive so that interactive architecture can be used as a goal toward leaving your occupant better off than when that interactive architecture first engaged them. Now, to give you a better idea of what I'm talking about and how you can incorporate this into your own work, take a look at this diagram. Here you can see an axis of occupant behavior where along this axis they will be engaging in different activities within your building like healing or learning depending upon the building type. Now this might be a typical arc where an occupant's activity is moving along in this direction and suddenly during their day they might experience a slump of some kind and suddenly their functionality or the building's functionality rather begins to move on a downward trend so for instance if this were a hospital the occupants healing may have slowed down for some reason if this were a school the occupant uh, student in this case may have a harder time learning during this instance or the teacher who's also an occupant may have a more difficult time teaching in this instance so this is one way that architecture can become interactive to assist these occupants during these periods, during these downtimes. So the interactive architecture, which would engage in this just-in-time intervention or engagement, would spot through its sensors this point here, and it would use its ability to make sense of patterns, for instance, as a first sign of this decline. Now, before the occupant were to engage in a, more, in a full decline, which would take them to this level here, it would intervene where the interactive architecture would actually become this point and that line, which we'll call treatment. And once the treatment is finished, you will notice that it reaches a point right here of stabilizing or stabilization. And at this point, it is out of, the occupant is out of the danger zone. And if done correctly, this interactive architecture will actually lead the occupant on a more upward path, where instead they may have yielded this path or lower. Say what they would have gained because of the interactive architecture this amount of momentum. And for this reason, interactive architecture can be a great tool that you can use as an architect to really enhance the way it engages with your occupants. So the overall lesson here is that interactive architecture should leave your occupant better off than before it engaged with them. So your occupant engages in an activity within a building, well, again, whether that be learning, healing, or this could even relate to safety matters. And the architecture can use its senses to detect patterns in the occupant's behavior through sense making and then can use that information with its actuators to inject a just-in-time intervention that will ultimately assist the occupant in obtaining a better outcome with the activities that they engage in while within your building and also they can carry 
that would them once they have left your building as well. Thank you for watching and listening. This is Maria Lorena Lehman with sensingarchitecture.com. <laughs>